they could do and welcome back to exclusive models okay for another video today i will take you out to court a buyer with food the abaya that i'm talking about is is like a cock of sundress but as wood at the head and it also has an elastic cover at the waist so you can also make it a band if you don't want to use the elastic cover so it's of two ways so i'm using this lacquer fabric you can see this is a lacquer fabric to cut it out and this is three and a half yard of lacquer fabric so i'll be folding it into four now so this is after folding it into four the next thing i'll be taking here is the length of the sleeve the sleeve length is for 24 inches 24 inches you can see these are sleeve length the lacquer fabric the chalk might not write properly on it so by the time i cut it out you will see it so from here i'll be taking my shoulder stand of one inch you can see then the length of my abaya with wood is 60 inches 60 inches with the same allowance then here at the down part here i'm going to use the wideness of 50 inches that is 12.5 in four places it's going to give us 50 inches then i'll be having the same allowance of 1.5 to it you can see then it's going to be like this can see now so from here i'll be slanting it from the slip length here i'll be slanting it down to that um 12.5 inches with the same allowance So you can see the, sh the shape of the abaya with wood you can see it's like a fish shape to the down part there so the next thing i'm going to take here is the roundness of the neck because we're going to add our hood to it that means the neckline will not be that wide the hatcher neckline for this particular dress for this measurement is um 16 inches you can see this is where the shoulder is but my neckline that i'll be using i'll be making use of 2.5 inches now it's a lacquer fabric even without slit without zip it's still going to enter just for the neck to be firm then the roundness of the neck is going to be the deepness of the neck is going to be 1.5 inches for the down and 2.5 inches 1.5 inches for the back, 2.5 inches for the front. Then I'm going to open it to cut the inner part. You are going to notch the area at which you are going to put the elastic rubber in. So from 8 to 8 inches, I will be putting my elastic rubber. So I am going to notch it. So the next thing to cut now is the wood. To cut out the wood, I will be using this pattern. The first thing I will be taking here is the length of the wood. So the length of my wood here is going to be... 24 inches. Depending on how far you want your wood to be, 
but yeah the wideness i'll be using for the wood is 11 inches that is with the same allowance that is going to be from here to this area you can see so this is the wideness this is the length from here to here before you can know the wideness of the wood here you have to join the two shoulders of the um abaya first and that is what we've done here the after then you can now know the oneness of the neck the oneness of the neck now is is 18 inches you can see this is 9 inches in two places is going to give us 18 inches so that is what you are going to use here 18 inches from here to here you can see so here you are going to slant it all to this area and before you can know the center here you have to take the measurement from this up the center is 12 inches then you slant it up to this 12 inches like this you can see the way I slant it then you come back to the you can see the way I slant my hand back to the length of the uh, wood then it's going to be a round shape here you can see just sketch out the edge you can see it and this is the front the the front face this is it you can see it by the time i cut it out you are going to see it properly so to make the um the wood to be fair so you have to deduct up to 1.5 inches here then you blend it down to the center here you can see it has bring out the shape of the head you can see it now then this is our front this is the down part that is going to attach to the neckline you can see it now you can see where we deducted our 1.5 inches then it's going to give us the roundness of the head so the next thing here is to cut it out so you can see it now this is now the shape of our wood now so and you know the lacquer fabric you can decide to reduce it just to bring out the nice shape of the neck that's the way i did it now you can now see the shape this is the center i took a measurement of 12 inches from the upper part here this is 12 inches you can see this is where the coffee started from here this is where it's going to end then it's going to continue the journey to the to the head of the wood so you cannot see now so if you want to place this on the fabric you have to fold the fabric into two you know you're cutting for the two sides so you can see and you can also decide to reduce the length of your wood if you want your wood to fall at the neck so you have to increase the length or use this exact length but if you want to reduce it maybe you don't want it to be too far then you reduce the length of to be firm to the head You can see now. You can see. This is for the two. So about to join it. I will join it from the back here to here. You can see there is going to be an opening at the front here. Then we're going to close it all. Then there is going to be a cap at this um, front also. So let me cut out the cap and show it to you. So to cut out the cap, this is the length of my cap, five point five inches. Then from here, I'm, going, I'm just going to slant it up like this. Like this. Then I'm going to notch the center. So as to know the center, at which I'm going to attach the wood. So this is now the length of my cap. So I'll be attaching it to the front of the wood after joining it at the back. So let me go and do all that and show you the finishing. Back. 
this is the finished work so far this is the abaya with wood you can see the size this is the last two cover at the wrist here yeah, you can see you can make it of a band if you want to make it firm instead of putting elastic rubber there so this is the neckline you can see the way i joined it before putting the elastic rubber this is the down the back you can see the wood you can see the way i joined the wood together before placing it at the center of the neck yeah the length of the wood is going to be long if you want it fall like this so this is the front and this is the cap at the wood you can see how beautiful this turns out if you are new to my channel you are in the right place to be make sure you subscribe to my channel so that whenever i upload any tutorial like this you'll be notified see you in my next tutorial bye assalamu alaikum bye